Hello, I'm Gabriela Ventura with WOW Action Services, and today is August 10th, and we are at the first annual Jim Connor at the Loma Alta Equestrian in Altadena, California. And we're going to visit with some organizers and volunteers to see what this is all really about. We are now here in Altadena, California at the Question Center holding our first annual Jim Canna event. And it's all in the efforts of bringing all our communities together, Altadena, Pasadena, to help the at-risk, the high-need, the overlooked, the underserved population youth and get them engaged with doing something positive and constructive. Uh, this is an event that takes several people to collaborate. It's the same efforts that's going to take and be needed to help out in our community to resolve some of these issues of gang violence and our education system. So we're here together to support each other and our organizations to make a better impact in our communities. So we would love if you could continue to support us. Uh, you can get more information at hop2e.com. That's hope, helping other people to excel. Thank you. I just want to encourage people to go visit our website at hop2e.com and go over some of the programs that we have available. And I want to put emphasis that it costs uh, to keep these programs going to really impact our community with our youth. Uh, there's many ways that you can support us by small donations or you can just go and go buy a box of coffee once a month or whenever you feel the need to and 70% of the proceeds go to our organization to support our programs and our youth. Uh, and you will see all the programs that we have available. I actually grew up here. I, I went to high school in Boston High and I lived just a few blocks from here. And there were always horses in the community. But there weren't activities that invited other people in the community to participate. So what we do now, my partner and I, with our Jim Cannas and our barrel races, is we want to open the horseback riding, or at least make people knowledgeable that it's out there. It's um, somewhat of a dying art um, in that you know we're becoming more urban, less rural areas, less trails to ride yeah. on. So um, that's that's why it's important to me something that I'm very, very passionate about and just like to share it, especially with young people. Yeah. And uh, I work with a lot of young girls right now and same thing. They get involved with horses and the rest of the world kind of doesn't exist for them. You know? Yeah. I had a little girl that had an injury a few days ago and it just nearly broke my heart. She's just one of my favorite people. But anyway, she ended up in the hospital um, and thank God it wasn't anything serious, but at the time we didn't know. She was released yesterday, and as she's leaving the hospital, she texted me, it's a 12-year-old little girl, and she says, I'm getting out now, and I'm on my way to the ranch to see my Aww. horse. I mean, that's... As she's being released. As she's being released from the hospital. Wow. And, and, and I find that kind of connection with most of the people that I work with, especially the young girls. They just, it just gives them something to hold on to. So California cowgirls can do anything. We can ride horses, we can ride motor, we can do anything. Yeah. But uh, that's the name of our of our organization. But uh, Labor Day, uh, we will have our final event of the year for California Cowgirls Camp. Okay. It will be held in Agua Dulce um, at uh, Sierra Colony Ranch. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Great. Back to you. A good friend of WOW Action Services, Mr. Paul Scott. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Great. So you're representing One Legacy today. Can you please explain? Uh, yes, I'm representing One Legacy, which is the uh, largest and number one organ procurement organization in the United States. And I'm a family care specialist. I assist families with making end-of-life decisions. And I'm here presently with two ambassadors who are recipient, liver recipients themselves. Wow. And we have a booth set up at this rodeo that's set up to help the youth. Uh, learn more about rodeo activities and be able to become career-minded and uh, we just want to share more with people of the importance of organ donation, how to register, right. and some of the gifts that we had to offer to encourage them to uh, be involved with sharing the gift of life. Right, and if people want to get involved to volunteer their time, how may they do so? Yes, they may do so. They can become, first of all, a registered donor by uh, looking on www.donatelifecalifornia.org. Okay. They can register 
Uh, if they wanted to contact the, one of our representatives at the One Legacy office, they would be able to do so to get involved. We have an aftercare team. We have a Donate Life uh, organization that's located down in Placentia, California, that helps people get involved in the community service. Okay. And I just became a recent um, ambassador. I'm a one year out as of July 14th. Wow. Um, I was two days from dying. And um, I was very fortunate because of the uh, decision my donor made to donate life. So I feel I'm out here just with the community today just to help promote organ donation and donate life. So I feel very blessed. Thank you. Great. Yeah. And yourself? I'm Monica. I'm actually a three-time liver transplant recipient. Wow. I've had three. Uh, we're just out here trying to educate the community on the need for tissue and organ transplantation and also to dispel some of the myths that may prevent people or make them hesitant to want to be donors and to make those uh, really tough end-of-life decisions. So we're here to answer any questions that you have and, and to educate the community in any way that we can. And can you give us a shout-out to the website to become involved? That would be donatelife.org or donatelifecalifornia.org. Uh, both will have direct links to sign up to be a tissue and organ donor, to answer any questions that you have, to order one of our really cool license plates that we're trying to come out with. Um, and to, to just get more information on how to be an ambassador and how to work within your community to do some really tremendous things within the cities that you live in. Great. Wow Action Services has with us Brocky Cannoli. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing today? Great. So what's your involvement within this organization? Well, the organization is called OBA, and it brings out for the youth capacity and to keep them off the streets. We're trying to show them how to do other things as far as, you know, uh, being uh, um, youth that have no direction. Right. So what we're doing is we're bringing a direction to them, showing them that, you know, horse riding and these type of things that keep them off the streets. Of course, right. Now, is there any way if anybody wants to become involved? All you got to do is go to uh, OBA okay. and talk to Chris Finney and um, you go through him through his website and it, it, he'll direct you, you know, to where you need to be. for 25 years. She serves as a supervisor. Penny was very instrumental in putting on this unique event. Penny described the many attractions of the venue the rodeo was hosted at. She mentioned Parks After Dark provides funding for some of their programs. Penny graciously thanked the many organizers that sponsored this unique event. Wow Action Services had a chance to meet up with Jason and his group of volunteers from Generation Green. Generation Green empowers citizens to voice their concerns and implement earth-saving actions. Through heightened awareness, they encourage wise choices that ensure sustainable living and the preservation of the environment. Since 1990, Generation Green, a 501c3, has sought to inform and encourage environmental action in CCC. Generation Green has hosted dozens of workshops and attended countless events. Their efforts have reached all segments of the community, from local arts and craft classes to attendance at city council meetings. Their goal is to educate all residents in the county about environmental issues. Wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> wow Action Services has had such a great time with Neighbors Empowering Youth. John Smith from NEY explained the reason for them being at the rodeo was to support the organizations, one being OBA. He told us about an upcoming event, which is an open house, to basically introduce the three programs that they offer, them being robotics, 
computer repair, and graphic design. I work with a lot of incarcerated youth and um, gang-impacted, drug-impacted youth and at-risk, so-called. You so know. you write books based off of that? Right, right. And okay. we help we help them make that transition to the positive, you know, more of a positive lifestyle. Okay. So Chris, his his uh, organization is Hope, you know, helping other people to excel. Right. So we go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly and right. we just support right. each other and everything. So that's what brings you out today. Right, okay. absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So Wow Action Services has with us K. Ron Valentine and he was explaining that he's an author and works with a lot of youth. Right. So how do you feel about this event today? I love it because what's going on is a lot of the youngsters that we work with, they don't have options like this. Right. You know, they they are trying to find other things to do. So um, the fact that they are supplying different activities for the family and for the kids to come out, mm -hmm. I love it. I'm in full support of it. Okay, okay. Full support. And as far as you, any books coming up? What's Yeah, right now what we're doing is we're promoting the Live Above the Hype curriculum. It's a hip-hop curriculum where we focus on the value systems of our youth because okay. a lot of times what I found is a lot of in interventionists, they work on trying to change the behavior right. of our youngsters. But if you don't tap into what people value, yeah. you would never motivate them to do what you were intending them to do. It's not going to mean anything. Right, absolutely. So the fact that, um, again, this is, is all tied into the values as far as family and right. things like that. And what I'm doing with the incarcerated youth. It goes hand in hand. Like I was saying, it goes like peanut butter and jelly. So yeah, it I'm really all for does. It. Well, yeah. it's a really special thing that you're doing. Bringing people together, you know. You can feel it. Yeah, you can feel it. You can feel the vibe. You can feel the energy. People yeah. are sincere. So that's what I'm here for. You know, my, my main thing in anything that I do is to use my talents and any insight that I have to right. empower people. You mm -hmm. know, and this is empowering, so I'm all for it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Karon, for your time. Thank you. Great. And I wanted to give thanks to Chris and everybody else, a part of the organization, for inviting WOW Action Services out and letting us have a great time. Once again, I want to expand on what everybody else has said about how important it is to get these kids off the street and involved in something positive so that they can have a good career and lead a great life. Once again, I'm Gabriella Ventura. Back to you.